Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about how to lay out joists equally. So I see a lot of decks that I tear out and I'll even show you an example in a minute about somebody else's work and how they did not equally lay out their joist spacing. Uh, we'll get into reasonings in a second, but before I get into that, will you please click the subscribe button? Only 17% of our audience does, and we're really trying to boost that up a little bit. So hit the subscribe button if you get something out of this video or you just like what we're saying, okay? Thank you so much. So. Uh, I've been on so many teardowns of decks where uh, somebody knows the joist spacing has to be 16 inches on center. So they go 16, 16, 16, 12, 13 and a half, 17, whatever. And that always drives me crazy. I, I like to have equal joist spacing on all of my layouts. Whenever I do a layout, I want it to make sense to me. Unless you're specifically having to put your joist on a certain joist center for some reason, maybe you're doing an under deck drainage system or something, okay, then I get it why you would put it exactly on 16 centers and then have one odd bay. But for me, I want everything to appear to have the same spacing, even though you may not even see it or ever see it. It doesn't matter to me. I want it to be equal anyways. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I use a little bit of a cheat as well on my phone. It's a little calculator app that does construction calculations and breaks things down into fractions, imperial fractions, so that I can understand them, which is awesome. And I'm gonna share that with you today. Okay, so let's just, I have these boards pre-laid out, but I'm just gonna show you how I did that. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta take a measurement of your board. Okay. So my full measurement is 141 and a quarter, okay? But before I take that measurement and start dividing, you gotta do something. You're laying, it's just like reading a book. When you lay out your joists, you're, I, I lay everything out from left to right, usually, just like I'm reading a book. So if you're putting a joist and you're measuring from the left side of the joist, then you gotta measure to the left side of the joist as well. Okay, which means you gotta subtract an inch and a half off the end of this board so you can read off the left side of the joist instead of any other part of the joist. So, so basically, my measurement is 139 and three quarters. Okay, that's my last joist, 139 and three quarters. And then it goes to the right of that mark. I'm starting from the left and then putting the framing right here. Okay, so you gotta remember to do that to, if you want equal spacing, okay? 139 and three quarters. So I have 139 and three quarters. Now I'm gonna pull out my, my phone. Now I could do this in the standard calculator app, but I use this product uh, or this app called CM Pro Calc, okay? Construction Master Pro calculator. Okay, so there's a ton of functions on here that I don't use, but I do use this a lot for layouts. So if I have 139 and three quarters, I have 139 inch and three quarters, and I gotta divide that by how many gaps? How many gaps? If you look at this lower landing right here, you'll count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gaps. I have nine gaps. I need 10 joists, but I have nine gaps. So I have to take 139 three quarters and divide it by nine. And that gives me 15 and a half inches. Now, that is an average. The calculator does a pretty good job of averaging things out, but my last joist will be actually 15 and three quarters. I could actually, spec out sixteenths for the last three joists and make it perfect, except this last three would be sixteenth off. But because I'm not overspanning my decking, I'm just gonna put that last joist a quarter inch wider. It'll be 15 and three quarters instead of 15 and a half. But that's my measurement, 15 and a half. Okay, so let's go back over here. And since I'm laying out a box frame of stairs, I'm gonna double up my joist and I'm gonna mark two, okay? So, but just to get started, here's my first mark at 15 and a half. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 15 inch and one half, and that gives me 31. 
So then I put my next mark at 31 inches. And then I just hit the equal sign after that. And I'm at 46 and a half. And then 62. And then 77 and a half. All the way out until I get up to where it would have been 139 and a half. But remember, we're at 139 and three quarters. So there's your last mark. So this last joist bay is a quarter inch wider than the rest. But I don't think anybody on earth would be able to tell that from six feet away. So that gets you very close to, to equal spacing on your joist. So basically with a calculator, and you can figure this all out in your head as well. It just might take you a minute. Uh, I prefer to use this because it's a quick cheat, but it did cost 25 bucks, I think. And that's the most that's the most expensive app I've ever paid for on my cell phone. But I know I've gotten over $25 worth of use out of it. I've laid out 60, 70 feet of, of deck joists that way before. So it's a really handy app to have on your iPhone or your uh, Android uh, phone just so you can do these type of construction calculations. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Uh, as far as Joyce layout, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to get back at you. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.